A floral tribute was held at National Heroes Park in celebration of the 98th anniversary of the birth of Herb McKinley, arguably one of the greatest sprinters the world has ever seen. Marlon Samuels has more in this report. On July 10, several Olympians were on hand for a floral tribute that was held at the National Heroes Park in Kingston. In celebration of the 98th anniversary of Herbert Herb McKinley's birth date. Just recently, Cabinet approved the Secretariat that it will now plan the events for a milestone anniversary of 60, 60 years of independence. And so the Herb McKinley centenary will be a part of those celebrations. Described as one of the greatest 400 meter sprinters in the history of the event. Herb McKinley was born in Pleasant Valley, Clarendon in 1922. His talent as a sprinter was reportedly nurtured by his grandfather, William Manning. In 1942, he enrolled in Boston College as the first Jamaican to be awarded an athletic scholarship to attend an American university. In 1945, he transferred to the University of Illinois. Just before the 1948 Olympics, McKinley set the world record in the 440 yards dash of 46 seconds. He broke his own record a month later, clocking 45.9 seconds. At the Helsinki Olympics in 1952, McKinley was second in the 100 meter. He also got silver in the 400 meter. Gold came when he helped Jamaica win the 4x400 meter relay with a new world record. He did so with what many regard as the greatest relay leg in history. His 44.06 seconds third leg split is credited with giving Jamaica the winning edge after erasing a 10 meter lead by the Americans. In 1950, McKinley gave the Jamaica Amateur Athletics Association an 8 point plan to develop track and field in Jamaica. He also coached the national team and served as president of the J3As. So many of our athletes who don't really know the history and we have to make sure that we keep the history alive. It is important that we recognize those who have paved the way and opened doors for us and we must never forget them. We must always honor them. We must always recognize their work and their worth. And this tradition will continue. Um, and, you know, I would say, Gillette, that young Olympians like you, it is important that you always remember mm -hmm. those who paved the way and continue to carry on the tradition of honoring them. Um, Arthur Wynne celebrated his 100th centenary, the late Arthur Wynne. And we're going to be offering a scholarship to G.C. Foster in his honor. And so, all that's left for me to say is that long live the memory and the work of the Honorable Herb McKinley. It's fortunate to meet Herb Mack. In the later days of coaching, he was still active enough to be around, sitting on a chair. Voice was, body might have been weak, but his voice was still very strong. And so I was able to gain a little knowledge from him, what to do, what not to do. And especially the event that I ran, which was one of his expertise in coaching, the 400 meters. And so, you know, I gained some knowledge from him and I'm thankful for that. And I was also able to visit him when he got ill at home. and. So I'm thankful, thankful to have gotten to know him and gain the little knowledge that I did from him. As Herb was my mentor, my father, my friend, Herb had made me the man that I am today. And, I, I, and the day when I came back to Jamaica, I said that I want to be just like Herb McKinley. I tried, but I can't fit my foot in his shoe, but I'm still trying. I love this man dearly. He had helped me from day one, from I start to run from St. Diego High School. School mean nothing to her. Calabar, KCJ, as long as you are a runner, an athlete, 
he's going to see to it that you get through. Thank you, Herb. Thank you for everything that you have done for track and field in Jamaica. And thank you, Minister, for giving us this opportunity to come here today on his birthday just to say, great man. A comment made about Herb, which I found myself to be true, by one of our past presidents, Mr. Ayers, and he said, Herb was such a great man that when he opened doors, he never closed them. He held them open for others to come through them as well. And I think this signifies the patriotism in Herb and, and its love for everybody and for humanity. Herb McKinley was a trailblazer in athletics in Jamaica and the world by accomplishing a number of firsts. He was the first man to run the quarter mile under 46 seconds and then under 45 seconds. He was also the first athlete to reach the finals of the Olympics in the 100, 200 and 400 meter races. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Marlon Samuels.